will have a fish right here holding this rod up to keep him I, I felt something right there still felt it it's in his mouth no oh, he dropped it I shouldn't have jerked it dang it I still feel pecking hang on it's got to be something good because it's it's a good it's a good peck there it is there it is yep all right baby oh my god we're doubled up this is not good literally the worst case that we can have oh my god i'm left to not good not good not good not good no oh god this is the worst thing that could happen Is he free? I don't know if he's free or not. This is not good. Are we gonna be able to do this? I don't know. Oh, he broke off. Okay, that one's gone. Now let's focus on this one. It's pretty close to us. Now I'm sad that we missed that one. Oh, we got a stick with him. Come on. It's a little guy. It's not very big at all. I was about to yell at this guy down the bank to come help me, but. Right, let me see if I can't tighten that up. Ah, it sucks. We lost that one. This is a little guy. Little, little guy. One of the smaller carps I've caught. So. Got him. Missed the other. Alright. Whew. He's not tiny. By any means, but he's not big. Let's see if we can't get this net it popped off there. There we go. Boy, you are wild. Dang, I ain't never had one flip around like this. He's an easy five pounder. All right. Good fish. I don't know if that camera's on, but good little four to five pounder. Uh, five at least five so i'm gonna get him back in there he fought pretty good look at those scales though just beautiful the way these fish are they're just something else all right let's get him back dang it doubled up and missed one <clears throat> I think he broke us off on that corner. Sure enough. All right. Here's that. Let's get this one back out ASAP because they're in the area. And we need to catch another one. Let's make this a, a good day not a missed opportune day let's see we can't pack that in there it's not sticking too good it's not dry just needs a little bit of pressure soak out some of that moisture you squeeze it out into the baits and there you go all right 
So this guy came over here to our left. And then we got to get that a new rig on the right one. Okay. All right. They are here now. Took us an hour to get them in the spot. But now we got them back here, so we can pull out a couple fish. Probably one more. That's all the time we got left. Here's maybe one more. Oh, dang, we only got one liter tied up. All right. Put a little fluorocarbon liter on here. Whoop. Slipped through my finger. There's so much shad. There's so many shad back here. Right now it's ridiculous. Stop, come on. I need to order some more of these. Corda is a uh, European company, I'm pretty sure. I feel like that's right in there. European carp company. That's what they specialize in, carp gear. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put the feeder on. Ah, <sighs> goodness. I got, I got a little too excited there about the, uh, about that fish. I just forgot what I was doing. All right. Bobber stop. There we go. Let's see, we should have another feeder in here. Yep, there it is. I like these black ones a lot. All right, push your main line through there. Pull, let it slide down. This is not 100% necessary, but the idea is that putting a second bobber stop Gives you the ability to pin that weight, the feeder, where you want it to, but it also will protect the knot that we're about to tie to the main line to our leader. Dang, just doubled up and missed our opportunity. There's so much activity back in here right now. Something is chasing some shad and they're thick back in here. Thick. All right. There we go. All right, now let's get this out there. We do not have long. We got 20 minutes, I think, roughly, is what we got. 
so we can probably get this out there maybe one more decent cast with some food some bait chum it up good all right there we go all right this one is straight out it's sitting in about six to eight feet of water and that problem that we're running into there is that the the point there's so much debris logs everything gets washed up over there everything gets washed up in that little corner and so when fish Oh, we're getting hit right now. Which one is it? The left one may have just already got hit. Oh God, I would love to double up. Only problem in this area, doubling up is I, yep, both of them are getting hit. This is it. All right, there's a the carp on this one. Ah, oh, he broke. Oh, my God. <sighs> the right one's getting hit, so it's probably about to go, too. But dang it. Still reeling this one in. All right. Let's see. This right one is... getting messed with quite a bit. I'm gonna take the bells off. I feel like it's about to go. <sighs> Tired of losing these fish. That was it, that was the carp. They're in that area feeding for sure. Four to five foot range. All right, let's put it back on and keep an eye on it. I don't think, if I don't have any more leaders tied up, I'm, I'm done because we gotta go soon. I think I have any leaders tied. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, that could be the wind. Or a fish picked it up and moved it. Watching the line. There it goes. There it goes. Come on. Come on. Did you get it? The line is slack, not going anywhere, so I think you dropped it. Yep. No fish. Well, that stinks. Let's put it back down in that holder and just see if we can't get him in that same spot. there just not hooked got 10 minutes I think it's already getting messed with again I don't know if it'll show on the camera, but I mean, literally everywhere within a 50 yards. There he is. There it is, come on. God, do not get that corner. Come on. Nope, he's going for it again. God, they always go for that corner. 
nope come on I'm trying to pull him back this way just just gently enough this is it I guess we got to get out of here but come on come on where you at where you at where you at where you at are you over or under that other line might be over it nope under it yep under it under it come on let's go this way oh this is gonna be a good one listen to that drag oh god come on come on come on I'm not giving him too much slack we've lost two today by being a little patient so I think today or now we just gotta kind of be a little bit more aggressive look at him he's a good fish swim back to the right This drag is so tight. Oh, that's a good one. Strong fish right here. Strong fish. Good carp. Good carp. Come out of that grass. Come on. Come back this way. Come on. just pulled right there hard come on nope come on it's a good fish dang he is not done a solid 10 pounder Ugh. dang what a fish Whew. god that's a big one all right come here buddy get you out of here that is a big big carp hooked right in the bottom Thank you. Get that out of your way. <laughs> Oof, he's over 10. That's a 15 pounder for sure. Come here. Let me get you. Gorgeous fish. Nope. 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 Come here. I got you. Come here. Bless, you're still feisty, ain't you? Come here. I ain't trying. I'm trying to let you go. He's pushing 15. Easy. God, I can't even get my hand around his tail. Would you stop? Stop. Okay. Yeah, it's a 15. God, he's fat. Look at this thing. That's a fish right there. That was a fun one to catch. Look at that guy. Whew. 
15, at least 15. God, such a pretty fish. <sighs> that is a good fish right there. All right, let's get you a little close up here. Camera's about to die, I think, but that is a huge common. He's pushing 15. I mean, he is wide six, seven inches across his back right there. Just gorgeous fish. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All right. Let's get you back on in there, buddy. Because I got to go. All right. Thank you for the fight, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. There he goes. What a pretty fish. That was awesome.